sponsored by Kush Online. Your home for cute, comfortable, curvy wear. Kush takes the stress out of getting dressed. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So, whew, the streets have been in a shambles. TikTok streets and YouTube streets. And honey, right in the midst of it all is Mrs. Peach McIntyre. So, I started earlier today seeing Peach got drugged. Peach, 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 Peach. So, finally, I was interested enough this evening that I made an effort to go and see what was going on. Well, Peach, you know, she spends a lot of time over on TikTok, on live, uh, you know, they get gifts and things of this nature. And at the end of the week, depending on how much time they spend on live and how many gifts they receive, they can cash out those gifts. And that's how you get paid over there on TikTok, similar to Bego. So Peach was on live with this guy. I guess they were playing the little game at first. And then it turned into a conversation that kind of went left. You know, Peach. She thinks that she can out-talk the likes of everybody. She thinks that she is the premier, I guess, person. That she is some type of uh, mold that cannot be duplicated. Um, that she came from a rags to riches story. And that she is, you know, better than everybody. I mean, for lack of a better way to put it. So, she started having this conversation with this guy. And I don't know how their conversation kind of got combative, but it did. And then, you know how she does, started, she started talking about his mom. Well, you know, she was calling his mother out of her name, saying that she was uh, on the you-know-what straw, if you know what I'm saying, Somebody said 304. I guess that means um, HOE. Um, because she started calling that boy's mom that. And so, you know, he felt the type of way because I guess his story is somewhat out there and that, he, you know, he was raised in the hood. His mother did have some type of public housing, but, you know, so did Peach. So, I mean, that doesn't make her some horrible low life or anything. And quite frankly, a lot of the people that get um, housing or Section 8 um, have other income sources. Most of them, everybody I knew that had some kind of public housing also had either a dude coming by dropping bread off, uh, a man that stayed with them that paid bills. He didn't even know it was housing. He was paying rent that wasn't even there. I mean, there was all kind of... Uh, non-conventional situations going on but for him you know he had a mother who had a lot of money coming through her home although she may have had section eight she still had guys who uh came whoever she dealt with they had to bring bread and he said that his mother was the type that had you know authentic name brand uh luxury bags things of this nature like you know although she may have lived in uh, or had Section 8, she wasn't about that life. She taught him how to be a man and how to have great quality, how to exude um, a life of leisure and a life of um, nice things. And so, you know, with her trying to dog his his mom, he felt the way. So he went in on her. So he started talking about how she is, you know, a nobody letting uh, her man um, basically drag her all these years and that her kids are going to be the product of that. And honestly, that is the truth. Everything that she goes online and says, she does not watch her mouth when her children is around, um, whether it's true or not, whether it's for real or not, whether um, it's fake. It's still being said. It's still out there. And these kids are seeing and hearing and feeling these things. So they're going to feel the type of ways. Not only that, they're going to be a product of that. They're going to be either a little girl that is okay with taking care of a man. Or they're going to be men that feel like it's okay for a woman to take care of them. 
So, you know, the conversation really went left, and he drugged that girl for Phil, talked about how her kids are going to be a product of those things, how, uh, you know, she is basically low life. Her house is devalued. She really ain't got nothing. And this man has a business. He has social media and he owns his own home. And then he walked us through the house, baby. He's got name brand this, high quality that, electric fireplaces. I mean, his house was beautiful. Quite frankly, she couldn't say much of nothing. Now, at the end, she's going to say, oh, I won. Girl, you won the right to shut up. Because, honey, when I say he read her from A to Z and on back, he talked about her. He talked about how she conducts herself on social media. He talked about how she conducts herself in her relationship. And then he broke it down even further afterwards and talked about how the women and men who watch her are being used by her. And nothing he said was a lie. We don't know half the things that she says that is going on with her and what is actually going on. Because why is he so comfortable sitting there letting her dog him as a real man? How is he okay with that? How is he okay with that story of himself? Heck, she just admitted online several, uh, about a month ago, he's still on his mama damn uh, phone plan. Like, this is the dude she got. But yeah, she has a nerve to talk about somebody else's mama. Not to mention, I think the guy has one child. She's raising seven and wants to feel that people are jealous of her because she's a quote unquote. People love to say she's successful. But a woman who I don't care that she makes $20,000 a month. She can't live from month to month with that money. And she has to pay for this man's lifestyle. And quite frankly, she shows us consistently how that's too much for her, that she gets tired of it, that she doesn't want to do it, but she has to pay for her lifestyle, pay for the lifestyle of seven children. And she wanted to tell the guy, oh, my kids got a lot of stuff. She just did a video talking about her son's got a car, a motorbike and a bicycle and all this, that and the third um, and all this name brand stuff. Why do you feel the need to brag so much? She brags because she looks in the mirror and she hates what she sees. When she's calling people low budget this and uh, Section 8 did that, she's really talking to herself. Just because she's moved out of that neighborhood, the psychology of who she is is still there. That's who she is. That's what she is. And that has nothing to do with her mama because her mother's living very comfortably. That lady goes to work. She even had a job and made money while she was on Section 8. She was another one who may have been on Section 8, but she had income of another avenue. And she stacked her paper and she was smart with it and she moved accordingly. A lot of people on Section 8, they use it as a stepping stool. Most people, especially if you have kids early, you use what the city and what the county gives you as a stepping stool for greatness. Whatever that means for you. So while everybody's around here thinking Peach is something big, Peach is really something small. She's a small fish in a huge pond. She's just somebody who happened to find a way to bring in a lot of money that she still can't manage to change her life with because she's intellectually retarded. I mean, she is. It just is what it is. So, y'all, tell me what y'all think about uh, the read she got, because baby was classic, because he read her for filth. Tell me what you think about the guy. I really don't know a lot about him. I'd like to. He seems to be a very interesting character. And he was so calm and finessing at how he did that. See, Peach thinks that she can over-talk everybody, that she can talk faster than everybody, and that she has more wits than the next individual. And because of that, she feels like she's always the person that comes out on top. But quite frankly, she stood in that jerk hood, finna get red, fulfilled, probably get her tail toe up. And her man sat there and watched. He wasn't even standing next to her. That speaks volumes about her, about him. And about who she is on the inside. 
And that's what y'all should be thinking about. Tell me what y'all think about that. Tell me what you think about this commentary. Let's talk about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Please be advised this channel is no longer monetized and receives its support from viewers like you. If you would like to make a donation, here is our information. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on those notifications. See you in the next video.